In this rendition of looking at audience theories, um, today we're going to be looking at audience theories in relation to documentaries. Uh, the first audience theorist is Todorov. Um, obviously Todorov's theory uh, revolves around a central idea of an equilibrium being disturbed. Uh, this is what drives the story of any narrative. Um, the equilibrium must be solved by the conclusion of the story. We can see that this is how many films and stories work. Uh, Todorov explains that there are five stages in this theory. Uh, the first stage is the equilibrium, uh, the state in the narrative where everything is calm. The second stage is the disequilibrium. This is where the equilib equilibrium is disturbed. Uh, number three is acknowledgement. This is the recognition of the equilibrium being disturbed. Number four, solving. This is the stage where there is an attempt made to resolve the equilibrium. And number five, is the end result of the equilibrium. This is the final stage and when the calm has been restored in the narrative. Obviously, Todorov's theory is quite relevant with amongst created texts such as film and TV shows. However, his theory can still be relevant within documentaries. In the documentary, All or Nothing, Manchester City, um, this documentary is an entry into Amazon's All or Nothing sports documentary franchise which goes behind the scenes of one of the most historic clubs in international soccer, Manchester City. The series gives viewers a look at an entire Premier League season for the team, going into the world leading training facilities at the City Football Academy and onto the pitch. Through interviews with players and members of the coaching staff, All or Nothing illustrates what Manchester City goes through to prepare for matches whilst trying to earn a Premier League title. The Oscar winning actor Ben Kingsley narrates, the first episode aired on the 17th of August 2018. Um, the series stars Sergio Aguero, Mikel Arteta and others. It was directed by Manuel Huerga and it was produ produced in Manchester, England. Todorov's theory can be applied to this documentary as at the start of the documentary we join Manchester City in their pre-season training. This would be the state of the equilibrium. Um, the action has not started yet. The disequilibrium co comes throughout the season with the issues that the players face, whether that be injury or family matters. Throughout the series, the coaches acknowledge these issues by providing help to the players. Um, obviously, the fourth stage of the solving also comes through the form of assistance that is provided. And the final stage can be found at the end of the season when they've won the Premier League and now are on their summer break. Obviously, the conclusion of this is that Todorov's theory, although it can be applied to film and TV shows, can also be applied to documentaries. Um, the theory is found more within creative documentaries, for example, Don't F With Cats. However, even with practical documentaries such as All or Nothing, this can still be relevant.